Have you decided it's time to add a canine to your family dynamics, but you're unsure on what breed to get? Well, in today's video, we're gonna compare the differences between the Weimarana and the German Shorthead Pointer. Welcome back to the Fenrir Weimarana Show. If this is your first time here, my name is Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. Everything we do here is dedicated to helping you find the perfect breed for you and then helping you become a high level canine leader who can raise the perfect canine companion. If that sounds like you, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to make sure you never miss another upload. So let's dive in and start with the history of both of these canines. Let's begin by taking a brief look at the history of the Weimarana. Marana. It's believed that these German dogs were the descendants of the St. Hubert Hounds or the Shengri dogs. They were first bred for hunting purposes in the early 19th century and were excellent at hunting large game like deer, boar and bear. Over the years, the hunting of large game became less common. The Weimarana adapted to this by turning their talents to hunting smaller animals like foxes, rabbit and fowl. In the breed's formative years, they were a favourite of European royalty. They were originally kept in the Weimar court, and it's from here that they took their name. They first appeared in the show ring in 1880, and the first purebred litter was born in 1881. A man named Major von Buna wrote the first breed standard in 1896. Weimaranas first made their way to the United Kingdom in 1935 and they finally made their way across the Atlantic to the United States in the early 1950s. The German Shorthead Pointer was first created in the 1800s. They were unsurprisingly, as the name suggests, originated from Germany. The breed was created by German hunters who spent years trying to create the perfect hunting dog. They crossed many different breeds to create the German Shorthair Pointer. Some breeds include Old Spanish Pointers, traditional Continental Pointers like the Brock Francais, and the Old German Pointer. The German Bloodhound was added for their scent ability, along with the French Gaskin. In 1860, the breed was further bred with English Pointers. These mixes of breeds created a versatile hunting and gun dog that could hunt both on land and in water. The breed took a hit during World War II and owners tried to hide their German shorthair pointers to protect them. After the war, the breed began being popular in England. The German shorthair pointer was officially recognised by the American Kennel Club in 1930 and they're currently ranked 19th in popularity in America out of the 155 breeds. The German Shorthair Pointer was recognised by the United Kennel Club in 1948. The Weimarana is a medium to large sized breed that has an athletic muscular appearance. They stand up to a height of 28 inches or 71 centimetres at the withers and weigh up to 88 pounds or 40 kilograms. Females are a little smaller and usually stand up to 26 inches or 66 centimetres and weigh 77 pounds or 35 kilograms. Weimaranas have long heads and long ears that are set high on the head. They have long necks and strong legs. Weimaranas have always originally had dock tails, but docking's now illegal in many countries, so you'll now mostly see their narrow, slim tail. They're affectionately known as the grey ghost because of their coat colour of mouse grey, silver grey or silver. As puppies, they're born with dark stripes, which disappear after a few days after they're born. Their coat's short and only requires a quick brush each week to keep it looking fresh and clean. There are longer-haired versions of the breed. However, while recognised by most kennel clubs, they're not recognised everywhere, including the American Kennel Club. The longer-haired breed does need brushing more often to keep their hair tangle-free. The German Shorthair Pointer is a medium to large dog. Males usually stand up to 23 to 25 inches tall, which is around 58 to 64 centimetres, and can weigh up to 72 pounds or 32 kilograms. Females are usually smaller and stand at 21 to 23 inches, which is around 53 to 59 centimetres, and weigh up to 60 pounds or 27 kilograms. They have a short coat, as their name suggests, which is easy to maintain and keep looking clean and sleek. They also have shorter hair on their head and ears. Their coat needs to be brushed every few days to help with shedding. They should be brushed with a bristle brush or a grooming mitt. There are many recognised colours of the German shorthair pointer, including solid black, solid liver, liver tickled, black and white, black and white spotted and ticked, liver and white and liver and white spotted and ticked. The German shorthair pointer have large ears that are set high on their heads. They have deep chests, a tummy that tucks up, strong legs and a moderately long tail, which they carry horizontally. The German shorthair pointer should look strong, muscular and athletic. 
The Weimaraner is a lively and energetic breed who need owners that can keep up with their athletic needs. They need around two hours of exercise a day and will happily join you in a range of different exercises like running, hiking and bike riding. They're an incredibly affectionate breed who will be stuck to you almost 24-7. This trait is why they're sometimes referred to as a Velcro dog. As well as a couple of hours of exercise a day, they also need a chance to really stretch their legs two to three times a week with a good run in a well-fenced or secure backyard or by letting them loose on fields when out for a walk. Just make sure that your Weimaraner has an impeccable recall before letting them off the lead whilst away from home. The Weimaraner is sometimes referred to as the dog with a human brain. This is due to their high level of intelligence. This high intelligence means they're easy to train in manners, obedience and toilet training. Positive reinforcement is essential when training a Weimarana as they don't respond well to harsh punishments or shouting. Both physical and mental stimulation is important with Weimaranas as if left alone to be bored they can turn to bad habits like chewing and barking. Remember, a tired dog is a happy dog. The German short hair pointer is an intelligent breed that prefers to be kept busy with a job to carry out. They prefer to be outdoors on an adventure with their family, so they're best suited to active owners. They're loyal to their family and create strong bonds with them. This can lead to separation anxiety. If separation anxiety is not dealt with, this can lead to unwanted behaviours such as chewing, barking and toileting in the house. German short hair pointers need at least two hours of exercise every day. They'll happily join you on walks, runs, hikes and swims. They also excel in dog sports like agility, obedience, field events, falconry and dock diving. As well as physical exercise, they also need plenty of mental stimulation. Due to the German short hair pointers intelligence, they're usually very easy to train. However, they're quick to learn both good and bad habits. They respond best to short 15 minute training sessions throughout the day. They require a calm, consistent leader to look up to for guidance and direction. It's crucial that you train your German short hair pointer in obedience and manners. They should also be properly socialised to the outside world to ensure they become well-rounded canines. Female German short hair pointers can be more stubborn and willful than males, so it's important that you curb this before it becomes an issue. German short hair pointers are a breed that's slow to mature. In fact, they won't hit their full maturity until they're around two years of age. Weimaraners are extremely loyal to their owners and they love being around children as they enjoy the extra play sessions that comes with energetic little ones. However, be careful with small children as Weimaraners are large dogs and could accidentally knock them over. It's also important to teach any children how to treat your Weimarana and when best to leave them alone. Although affectionate towards those closest to them, they can take time to warm up to visitors. If you take the time to properly socialise your Weimarana, you should find you have no issues with them living with other dogs or pets. But remember, these dogs were originally bred as hunting dogs, so they have a natural high prey drive. And this can cause them to clash with other dogs and animals if you haven't socialised them well. You'll find that your Weimarana won't actively approach other dogs when they're on walks. They'll happily stay with you and assess the situation first. The German Short Hair Pointer is a loyal and loving breed that retains their puppyish ways for quite a while. They love to play so get on with children well and they love having a playmate. However, they can be boisterous and excitable due to their long puppyhood. This is something to bear in mind with small children as they could jump up and accidentally injure them. German short hair pointers that have been thoroughly socialised should have no issues with other animals inside the house, especially if they've grown up with them. They also tend to get on well with other dogs when out and about. When it comes to other animals when out on a walk, they most likely won't hesitate to chase cats or small animals like rabbits or squirrels, thanks to their hunting and pointing nature. Any interactions with other animals or children should always be supervised as every dog has some form of a prey drive and accidents can happen. Both the Weimarana and the German short head pointer are very similar. They both adore their family, both have similar minimal grooming needs and both breeds love to be active with their owners. Either the German short hair pointer or the Weimarana would be ideal family companions as both breeds love children and they adore the extra play sessions. As we've said, the German short hair pointer does remain puppyish for a while until they hit their full maturity, but this just means that they'll be very playful with any children and will love the extra attention.
With both of these breeds, it really is down to personal preference. Either would make an exceptional family canine companion. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down on the comments section below. And don't forget, if you are new here, to make sure you subscribe. We have three dedicated Vimarana videos coming here every single week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Vimarana Show.